All right, welcome back, everybody. This is episode four of our journey through the Valley of Mines. Last time we encountered a little bug, but I think I fixed it. Yeah. My master stance is back on the menu. And now let's explore a little more. So... Oh man, they hit hard. They hit indeed hard. So there is a shadow beast over there. And down this canyon, we will encounter orcs. So we are going the other way. Now with the list of Ian in our bags, we can finally return to Diego and then go into the other direction. Oh, what do we have there? Wolves. We still need to be careful. It's a bunch of them. <laughs> Yeah, well, no problem for us right now. I like it that this little plateau over here is kind of a no man's land in between the passages that are traveled by the mercenaries and guards and the orc territory. By the way, in the English version, they call the Orc territory the Orc land, which I think is kind of whack. It's not really a land. It's just, uh, you know, kind of a small area. It is what it is. Hmm. Interesting, yeah. So, usually, if I would play modifications, I'd definitely make my way up this... up this tower, but... playing the classic version, there is nothing up there. <sighs> oh, shit. Usually, you kind of take less damage with acrobatics when when falling from a certain height but it doesn't really affect it am i right so more snappers come on baby <laughs> And one more. Do we have here? Oh, ice block. That could be useful. another chest and here we are almost at the orc arena random potions on the ground statue of an orc and a cave with, again, nothing in it. What a shame.
So let's move back. Can we kill an orc? I think it's about time that we try. Man. We're going to die. Yeah. I can actually kill them. Potentially. But I need to be very careful to just pull one of them. But... Oh my god, I killed an orc. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, well, we'll need some more fried meat. I hope I will remember this once we're in the in the old camp. Yeah, they are, their AI pattern is a little bit different compared to Gothic 2. Because in Gothic 2, it's uh, actually kind of easy to kill an orc. So I can't open them, right? Oh, I can. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> okay, that was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Interesting. You can kill an orc once you're level 7. Maybe even earlier. But we did it. 300 XP per kill. 600 XP. That's quite good. Now the question is, can I eventually go a little bit deeper into the orc territory? Maybe we find some nice weapons. Because right now I don't really remember where um, some nice weapons are, where you can find them. Let me think. There's definitely a big two-handed sword um, right in front of the Sleeper Temple. Thing is, we can't really get past all the orcs. I mean... Killing them one by one, that's one thing, but... They will charge us in great numbers, so I don't know. What if... Let's try. Is it dangerous? Let me put it like this. You may as well give me all your ore before you go out there and let the orcs rip you to ribbons. I don't think I want to do that. In that case, you better not move another step. Yeah, I'm not listening to you. Oh man, it's it's uh, not wolves anymore. It's um orc hounds.
Okay, uh, this dog is about to... Yeah, it's, it's coming right at us. Come, little dog. Not gonna hurt you. Hmm. Where can I find good weapons? I think the next best weapon that you can get is once you are able to get to the ore barons inside the fortress and then you just um, beat a bullet and get his weapon. Is it Hatebringer? <laughs> That's... We, ha we have to be careful. Really, really careful. Okay, we're going this way. Okay, now they're coming. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, uh they can apparently see us. Oh look. Yeah. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Are they still coming? Okay, they stopped following me. What kind of weapon is that below the Sleeper Temple entrance? Is it... Rage Steel or something like that? I think so. Is there anything up uh, on the citadel? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing up there, unfortunately. Yeah. Stuck between a rock and a hard place, yeah. This is... Oh my god. Come on, buddy. Well, they are sneaking upon us as well. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Two fifty. That's not bad at all. Jesus Christ. Ah, yeah, this is an orc fighter, which gives us 250 experience. And the other ones that we killed by the arena, they were orc warriors, and they give uh, 300. There's a small difference, yeah.
So what do we do now? There is another cave down there where in Gothic 2 one will find Fajeth's group. Maybe there is a weapon down there. I can't really remember right now. going to be very funny to get back oh man it's razors <laughs> shit It. Yeah, let's get out of here. We can try to sneak past all those creatures. What's up here? Nothing? Okay. I mean, we can try to kill some more orcs, but... Holy shit. Okay, there is another cave up there, but I don't know if that is where we get a weapon. And I can see more razors, so that's definitely not going to happen. Orcs. Oh my god. Yeah, I try to... And it kind of worked. Luring them one by one. Come on. Fascinating that you can't kill razors, but you can kill orcs. Yeah, come to me, boy. Fighting them ain't too bad. Now we have to sneak very carefully because they're standing very close to each other. That is what I... Maybe... Okay, okay, okay. That's actually crazy. Okay, where's my potions? And now we should be fine. We're out of the fire, actually, I think.
Oh, oh no, oh no. <sighs> Let's try that again. There is a cave. Maybe there is something interesting down there. Well, no. That is such a shame, man. That is really, really... A good amount of wasted opportunity. It's so funny to explore the colony, but coming across a cave without anything in it. It is what it is. Now you know what? We are already so strong. There is a bloodhound, we can kill bloodhounds, two of them. And they have a huge aggro range, look at that. The other one. It's nice. What about this cave? Empty too. Yeah. Hmm. The disappointment is huge. Well, with that, I can say that it's. Um, that it's about time to move back to the old camp, I think. Or we can go exploring in this direction, which would make sense. Hey, Pancho. What's going on, man? Oh, Pancho. Hey, you! Who? Me? No, your grandmother. Who else could I mean? <laughs> I wouldn't go down that way if I were you. Why not? You can't have been here long. Man, that's the way to the orc land. They'll make mincemeat out of you. Oh. You're welcome. Good thing he doesn't know that I just came from this general direction and killed orcs. Yeah, look, um, we will go into that small forest over there. There had been some wolves running about. We are going to kill them. Here they are. Kind of strange that they reset mid-fight and do their other idle animations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm running. I'm running already. Leave me alone. Thank you. Jesus. Christ. 
You know what's really curious, strange, odd? These holes? When I was a kid and I saw these holes, these are basically the only ones in the whole game, I thought this is where blood flies came from, you know? It's, li it's like a, a, a wasp nest or something. But yeah. Definitely they, they had uh, some thought put into it, what that could be. But we never really saw a finalized version of that. Okay. More scavengers. More blood flies. Oh man. And more wolves. We need to cut a breach into this territory. <laughs> was damn close. I shouldn't waste all my potions. But we don't have rice. We don't have meat. Let's go this way. Oh yeah. Seraphis is always nice. It's almost 15 health points per plant. plans for you. Okay, Seraphis. There are so many different plans in the game. And you can really see that they wanted to implement alchemy but yeah the lack of time can you come down there Hit it. I have a bow, maybe now. Oh, I can. Look at that. It's so friendly to come down so I can loot it. We have to be careful just a little bit because there is indeed a shadow beast down here, I think. Okay, not in this cave, but above.
Oh no. Where is the shadow beast? There it is. Okay, we tried to kill a shadow beast in the orc territory. But that was when our weapon was bugged. So I think I'm going to try it again. Give me a second, I need to reposition myself. Ah. Alright, big bad boy. Come at me. Now he's going for the mole rat. Run! Leave me alone, please! Okay, it didn't follow. But it might go for the other mole red. Yes. Which is sad. Taking the meat, bro. <laughs> Pulled a little sneaky on ya. <laughs> uh, where do we want to go? Yeah, I think we should go into this general direction because um, we'll clear the path with uh, another escort quest in which we are escorted. So, oh, there's some herbs. Yeah, um, shouldn't, shouldn't there be a bloodhound? right here or will it appear in chapter 2 I'm not sure wolves on the other side yeah Also have to take a look at the clock because it seems that the sun is setting soon and I don't want to run around in uncharted territory while it's dark No Nyrus. It's very, very empty. Oh, is it about to rain? Kinda seems like it's about to rain. No, no. I think I'm just confused. Yeah, because rain plus darkness? Oh man, that's a bad combination. Again, I really do love it, but... You can't see shit. <clears throat> Huh. 
Ha! Ah, I was right. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, there were some wolves here. With that amount of visibility, it might be good to pull out the bow. Because usually, with a bow, you're able to see things before they see you. Like that orc hound. Two orc hounds. They're far away from home. Oh boy, two of them coming. I have to hide behind a tree. It's kind of bug using, but... have enough mana. What? Seven mana? Oh, you don't start with ten. Okay. I forgot about this. Well... What these strange plans. Dragon root giving mana. Very, very strange. I can eat the shrooms. I might be a little lost. I don't really... I don't really know where we are right now. Oh shit. I hear something. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. That is a surprise. The Tower of Mist, or the Fog Tower. Well, you know what? Oh. Yeah, I think there is ladders here, but there is nothing up there. Oh man, this, this was also part of the um, beta, I think. And I think I talked in the video about that. So, the Fog Tower, um, it was planned that there is a big gong up here. And this gong would be hit in regular, uh, in, 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 in certain intervals. So the Wanderers could find a way through the fog. Which is a very, very cool idea. Unfortunately, it is just a ruin now, and it's home to... well... Yeah. This. One quick thing I want to mention... ...is... <coughs> I don't know where I read it, but... I think it was in a recent interview with... Mike Hoga, where he explained some of the inspirations for Gothic, 
And one of the inspirations was Diablo 1. Diablo 1 is the first game that I played on a computer. I mean, beside all those weird kitty games like, I don't know, what is it called? Frogger, you know? I played it at a, at a neighbor's house. But the Diablo 1 was the first game I had on my computer and the first computer game that I finished, actually. And um, it was a very, very, very interesting experience. And I think even today, Diablo 1 was or is the entry of the series with the best atmosphere, even though it's so old and so archaic. So, with that said, I think the Fog Tower is one of the locations where you can really feel the influence of Diablo. Diablo 1 in particular. If you haven't played it, go for it. It's a uh, very cheap. Oh boy. It's very cheap. Yeah, kill it. It's got a lot of experience, man. Go for it, play it. I think it's on um, good old games. And obviously, um, just recently had been added to the Blizzard launcher. Which was a surprise. That's a warrior? No. When I think about the dark and gritty influences of Gothic 1, when I'm talking about the lost themes of Gothic, this is actually a place that I have in mind. With its narrow hallways, the dim lights, a very ominous atmosphere, And yeah, it reminds me a lot of um, Diablo 1. We got some mana potions down here. Oh yeah. There's a warrior. Can we kill it? Okay. <laughs> we have to take care. We have to take care. We are burning through our rations. Fortunately, we don't need all that stuff. It's a little different in a modification. be very careful down here so very careful and we already need two essences two healing potions Yeah, we, we really need to be careful right now because it's so... It's so convoluted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, the good thing is that they are not good fighters and their AI is a little bit stupid. Um, another kind of fun fact, I think. The Fog Tower or the Tower of Mist, whatever it's called. This is um, a location that was planned to be used in the Gothic sequel. And if I remember correctly, what was going to happen inside of this place, as you can see, it looks like a mine, you know, with all these support beams and stuff, it very much looks like a mine. So in the Gothic sequel, people would dig for ore down here. And I think it might have been the remnants of the sec camp, but I think I'm wrong. But they weren't digging for normal ore or magic ore. They were digging for a type of ore that we later on see in the sleeper temple. Um, it's called blood ore. So blood ore isn't officially in the game, I think. Maybe somewhere in the da in the game files, but you can basically just see it. You cannot mine it, um, and you can see it in the sleeper temple. It's on the walls, and it's uh, orange, red, glowing. And this is apparently a material that they mined down here, but I don't know for what reason. I say it, I think the sequel had very, very interesting ideas. Ideas they should have elaborated more in Gothic 2. For example, the demonic infestation or corruption, the presence of demons and how they corrupt wildlife. That was a very interesting thing. But unfortunately, we can't really see much of it so back to the topic we need to be very careful here yeah there's three of them coming four six oh boy safe spot here Don't you dare coming at me. I'll grind your bones to dust. If I find a way out of here. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Ah, oh, shit. It doesn't work. I love these ambient lights. Like this greenish blue ambient light getting pierced by the warm red touch of the of the torch. It's really amazing. It looks so so foul and decrepit. Derelict. Okay. <laughs> Here, bozo.
Oh shit. No, 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 no. Oh boy. Oh boy, that is going to be hard. God help us. Okay, I don't know if I can kill the the skeleton mage. And he's about to cast the spell. There it is. No, oh, and there it is. <laughs> Unfortunately, we need more mana to cast that spell. Yeah, we can already... Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. The wise man first needs to... Have an overview over things. Is that the very, very rough and clumsy translation of uh, what they want us to do? Yeah, basically find the highest part of the colony and take a look. Yeah. But I think it's best to go down to the old camp right now. Thirty learning points. I'm gonna invest that into strength. I don't know about dexterity, man. One of the biggest downsides of the Gothic series so far. What time is it? Okay. Is that you're very limited in the um, choice of your weapon right from the start. Like you're forced to go for a pickaxe right at the start. Then you find a sword, you know. You're, you're forced to go for, um, for the melee combat. And I think the best gothic game, not officially though, um, which did it very good was uh, Chronicles of Mertana Arholos, where right at the start you can find so many different kinds of um, weapons. You can find a, a one-handed strength weapon, you can find a two-handed strength weapon, a one-handed dex weapon, a two-handed dex weapon. You can find bows and crossbows, you know. and. That is, you know, the way it should be. Actually, if you want to be a crossbow man, you wanna you wanna be a crossbow man from the from the very start, you know. And I think this is one of the reasons that kind of make me make me play melee most of the time in the gothic games because there is these restrictions, Fairly recently, I did a playthrough of Gothic 2, where I wanted to do the mage run, but again, you're kind of bound to learn... Um, you're kind of supposed to, to learn uh, melee weapons to, to a certain degree, which I did, and then I went for the battle mage, which wasn't really too good. <laughs> Another lurker. Oh that bitch came out of nowhere. Oh 
Yeah, we made it. We uh, went to the Fog Tower before we even um, decided what kind of camp we're going to, to choose. Interesting. Okay, there's nothing left on this side, so we're moving on the other side. We are killing the lizards and the lurker. And I think that's when we move back to the old camp. We have been gone for quite some time. Oh shit. Yeah, maybe we should we should eat some some more the good old bacon or a ham. Looks more like a ham to be honest. Yo. Nice. Level 11. And yes, I remember correctly. There is a snapper. There's two of them. Holy shit. Holy shit. Can I kill them? again there we go yeah we made it I think we cleared quite a bunch so that's uh, less work later but eventually we will have a chapter spawn. But yeah, for for now we should be good. We can do the arena quests. We can definitely go for um, oh more blood flies. Look at that! What a what a nice treat. We can definitely go for Kurgo. We will beat him. Um, but I don't know about Kareem. So we need to check that out and it's also kind of sad that you can't fight Gorhanis <sighs> well yeah it is what it is I doubt it's ever likely to change I doubt that's ever likely to change I'd better keep out of it the thing is, we already have so much ore on us. We don't really need any 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 ore, but eventually we will raid the fortress of the ore barons, and that is happening once we gain access. And you, you know, here's the plan. Here's the plan. I will give you the plan once we're frying a little bit so I want to be part of the old camp usually look when I started playing the game back in the day I went for the old camp every single time but when I became older I cherished the other camps more and obviously the sect camp the brotherhood of the sleeper is my favorite camp right now um, usually I'm going for that camp but I think when I when I think about maybe a lore canon version of a gothic one playthrough I'm I'm thinking that 
the nameless one possibly joins the old camp and then things happen and then you you know you swap but yeah it's been a very long time since i actually played as a shadow in the guard so i want to enjoy that once more so very very basic playthrough Okay, is that enough? Let's see. Uh. Give me the meat. Give me the protein. Okay, that should be enough. Kurgo. Hi, I'm new here. You don't say. Tell me about the outside world. It's been over a month since I heard anything from outside. I'm Kurgo. I fight in the arena. Are you good? At fighting? I haven't been doing it for long, but I've already won a fight. I'd like to challenge you to a fight in the arena. What? But I don't want to fight. Why don't we just have a beer together and talk about the outside world? Okay. Give me a beer then. Here you are. Thanks. I'm afraid I can't tell you much about the outside world. They kept me locked away in a dark hole for almost two months before throwing me in here. That's a shame. Oh well, never mind. Hey, you're still looking pretty good for someone who's been locked up for two months. I'd like it to stay that way too. Then why do you insist on fighting one of us? I want to get acknowledged in the camp. By Scotty, you mean? Hmm, he's one of the most influential men in the Outer Ring. You might be able to impress him by defeating me. But if you really want to impress him, it's Karim you need to beat. Only thing is, I'm afraid he might be too good for you. If you still want to fight me, let me know. But I won't enjoy knocking you out cold. Kurgo has a very, very slight Hispanic accent. I really like that. That's to the diversity. Let's fight. Are you ready? Follow me. But not for diversity's sake. It's uh, more of a natural thing. Again, I talked about the accents a little earlier, and I think it's a it's a fine addition. Okay, let's go. Right. Let's get to it. As long as I'm May the involved. best man win. Bro. Belly and inconvenience. Well, what about you, big boy? I'm new here. Who are you? I'm Kareem. You must have just been booted in here, or else you'd have heard of me. I'm the best fighter this damned camp has ever seen. You'll be sorry I'll for I'll challenge you. Let's go to the arena. <laughs> you. I'll have you for breakfast, kid. Do yourself a favor and get lost. So you don't get hurt, you coward? Don't you have any better ideas, boy? At first I wanted to say something about your thin arms, but then I saw your ugly mug. I think this is your last chance to finally get lost. How about your mother's a sheep shagging? Yeah, I guess she is. <laughs> You're only here to get a chance to kiss Gomez's ass. What? You worm. You know nothing about us. The new camp is independent from all that shit. 
And apart from that, there's only one reason why I'm here. So I can beat the brains out of smart asses like you. It'll be my pleasure to do the same to you. Your destiny is awaiting you in the arena. <laughs> You've given me a fair thrashing, man. It was a good fight. But now it's over. Some people never learn. You fool. Pain is a question of willpower. Okay, okay. He does a double swing, but he also charges us. Pain is a question. There we go. Wow. We barely survived. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Got two health points. <laughs> Jeez. Skeddy, what do you think? I fought Kurgo. And you defeated him. That's not bad for a beginner like you. I'm impressed. You're already dead. You just don't know it. I challenged Karim. And you knocked him down. I have to admit that wasn't bad going. He's always been known as one of the toughest fighters. I am deeply impressed. You better be. Okay. We will have a... A short rest after this very intense fight. But yeah, with uh, a little amount of strength and a kind of a good weapon like the Stonebreaker, well, you should get around in the colony pretty easy. I'm not listening to all that bull, but keep it to yourself. Okay. So. With fights won and uh, many places of the colony uh, being decimated now because of our little adventure into the woods and also into the orc, orc territory, <laughs> uh, we got quite some. Keep it to yourself. We got quite some um, experience. Obviously, as you can see, 40 skill points right now. That's a lot. I wonder how I will invest them. But yeah, we are going to take a look at that in the next episode. So thank you all for tuning in. And I will see you guys next time.